Welcome to the Jane Addams Trail. Good morning, everybody. I am coming to you today from Tuddy's Crossing Trailhead in the town of Freeport, Illinois. It is at this location that we are going to ride the Jane Adams Trail. Uh, starting right here from Tuddy's Crossing, uh, they have a really big parking lot here. Uh, they have a porta potty down there, uh, garbage cans over here. Looks like some benches over this way, along with a drinking fountain. So this is another one of those re-rides. I rode this about uh, just about two years ago. Uh, if I remember correctly, I rode this on Independence Day of 2021. So it uh, looks like it's a couple years and a few days. Uh, so my wife has never ridden this trail. Uh, so when I last rode it, I did not have telemetry set up yet. So now that I have telemetry, this is gonna be another one of those rides where we get uh, telemetry for it finally and a fresh look at the trail two years later. The map is over this way, so let's check out the map. All right, so mile marker zero, the sign is over there, but you gotta come this way to see the map for some reason. Uh, so this is a map of the Jane Adams Trail. Uh, we are right down here at the Tuddy's Crossing Trailhead. Uh, we're gonna make our way up here and then go all the way up to the state line uh, where the Jane Adams Trail meets the Badger Trail in Wisconsin. I've ridden a lot of trails in the past couple of years, so I don't remember everything about this particular trail. So it'll be cool to check this trail out again. What I do recall is the Lincoln Douglas Debate Square. Uh, so we're gonna check out that area. It's actually pretty close to where we're at right now. And then uh, just make our way all the way up this rail trail. You could definitely tell I'm old school because I get excited over seeing trail maps. Uh, most places don't have trail maps anymore, uh, but it's cool to be able to have a physical map with you in case you're having issues with uh, connectivity with your cell phone coverage. Let's get started and check out the Jane Adams Trail. The first stop for us on the Jane Adams Trail is Debate Square here in Freeport. A uh, very cool area if you're interested in the history of the Lincoln-Douglas debates. The first time I rode the Jane Adams Trail, I believe I took a picture of every single one of these signs. So if you're interested in reading the signs, I'm not gonna do that today. Uh, so if you're interested, I'll put up the link to the previous video where you could explore those signs in further detail. On my last video, there was a guy who commented on the video. I'll put his channel link in the description of this video. Speed Learner had pointed out that there are 215 of these blue signs scattered all across Illinois. And I'm going to link to his channel in the description. Uh, you might want to check it out if you're interested in these signs. I, could, I believe you're going to be able to find info on many of the other signs on his channel. All right, so we just crossed. I'll put up uh, what uh, route this is right here. I don't remember the name of it, uh, but it's a 45 mile per hour road. You're basically crossing about five lanes and two shoulders, including the turn lanes. 
Uh, so they should definitely put up one of those yellow light flashing things for this intersection. Uh, it was pretty easy to cross, but otherwise when you have traffic going in five lanes plus two shoulders, uh, you know, and everybody's going well over 45 miles per hour, it's probably safer just to put one of those in. The bike says we're 4.5 miles into the ride so far from where we parked. Uh, so they got the big Jane Adams trail sign here at West Block Trail Access. Uh, they have a big gravel parking lot over here. Uh, they have a sheltered picnic area. They have some restrooms, some garbage cans. So that's pretty good. I think I see a drinking fountain over that way. Uh, but this is definitely a place where you could start the Jane Adams trail from if you weren't interested in starting uh, where we did at Tutty's Crossing. A uh, quick map update here. So we're right here at West Block. Uh, we're gonna go underneath 20, making our way up. We just spoke to a guy who just finished the trail. He said the trail quality should be good between here and Wisconsin, so that's good. There was a concern of downed trees because a bunch of trees were downed in one of the recent storms, but it looks like it might be cleaned up by now. So we pulled over right before Cedarville Road. Uh, they have this little area connected. It's connected right to this bridge here uh, where uh, we have a map and uh, bench uh, benches, I should say. Let's do a quick map update here. So again, we started in Tutty's Crossing at the trailhead there. Uh, we stopped at West Block and now we're right up here at uh, Cedarville Road. And according to the map here, uh, Cedarville uh, is Jane Adams' birthplace. We've made it to Beaver Road. Uh, at Beaver Road, they have a trail map here, garbage can. 
uh, porta potty and trail parking right over here. I really like when trails have signs like these periodically on the trail. So we're 8.5 miles from where we started at Tutty's Crossing and 8.5 miles to the state line. So it looks like uh, this is the exact halfway point of this trail. Thank you. It's an obstacle course we're working on. <laughs> yes. Is there any, any trees down this way? No. Nope. What's that? No, you should be good. All the way down to yeah. Wisconsin? Okay, no trees. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. So when you're heading north on the uh, Jane Adams Trail, uh, you're eventually gonna hit that covered bridge uh, in Orangeville. Uh, once you cross this street here, I'll put the name of the street up on the screen. Uh, they have a sheltered eating area. Uh, if uh, railroad tracks over there too, it's a cool little segment. They have some benches. I see a bike rack, a garbage can. Uh, over this way, they got a parking lot. So this looks like a good place where you could start the trail from if you want to start from the north. Uh, looks like down this way must be like downtown Orangeville. So not exactly sure what's down there, but I think we're gonna ride a little down that street just to see what we could see, maybe grab a beer somewhere. Well, as you saw, we went down the street, check out what was there. We did see a couple bars, but it looks like they don't open till like three o'clock. Right now it's just about two o'clock. So we are too early to grab a beer over there. It looks like Orangeville is the last stop before we make it into Wisconsin. Trail survey. We saw the box missing at a previous location. Uh, please complete the enclosed survey, close the lid. 
All right. Oh, there's a bee going in there. Whoa, that's why. So we have just crossed State Line Road. We are currently in the state of Wisconsin on the very southern end. Uh, the sign here, mile marker 17.2 of 17.2. So we are at the official end of the Jane Addams Trail. The Badger State Trail is unexplored territory for us at this point. Uh, over this way, you can see mile marker 40. Uh, we've been to the very top of the Badger State Trail when we rode the Capital City State Trail in Madison, uh, which would be about 40 miles that way. We've also crossed this trail when we rode the Sugar River State Trail starting in New Galaris and making its way down. It crosses right over the Badger State Trail. One of the reasons I haven't ridden this yet is I was really hoping at some point uh, that they were going to get the Stewart Tunnel fixed, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. So uh, we're going to ride the uh, Badger State Trail at some point in the near future. I'm hoping to get that done in the next month or two, and uh, we'll be able to see what that looks like all the way up to Madison. So before we head back into Illinois, I am just curious. I see like a kiosk over there, so we're just going to ride up there to see what that kiosk shows, uh, just because I'm curious to see what's there. So this looks like it's a uh, picnic table kiosk combo. State trail pass is required. So this is the Badger State Trail. Uh, we're right here at the very bottom. Looks like uh, you can make your way through Monroe and Monticello, Belleville, make your way all the way up. I remember uh, when we rode the Capital City State Trail, we started in Fitchburg. So it's probably up here somewhere where it crosses. Then the Capital City State Trail goes all the way up to Madison. On this map here, you also have the Sugar River State Trail, which is one of those trails we've ridden previously. We started a new Glarus and made our way down to Broadhead. Well, it looks like I left my wife in Wisconsin here. I just crossed State Line Road. I'm in Illinois. She's a state away in Wisconsin. Wrong, sir. Wrong. You know, I did wonder why the mile marker was on the other side of State Line Road. When I was looking at the map to get street names for the video, I discovered that the actual State Line is north of State Line Road there. It looks like right by the Jane Addams Trail, State Line Road dips a little south of the actual State Line. So you do indeed have to cross State Line Road to get to the end of the Jane Addams Trail. Uh, here's the uh, welcome sign. Welcome to Illinois. So we're up here at the top now, so we're just going to make our way south. There's a couple things I saw that we're going to check out on the way back. 17 miles to Tutty's Crossing. Well, as you could see, my wife wanted to run into BP real quick to grab something. Uh, so we stopped here. So it's really easy to get here and you do not have to go on the main road uh, to do it. So uh, that's a perfect spot if you need to resupply on something.
So when riding on the trail, there's a caboose right over here. We were able to see it through the trees on the trail. I was interested to see what it was. We come across this place here. So at this point, I can't actually determine if the public is allowed on this land or not, but look at this. They got a little bridge here. They got the caboose over there with some wagons and stuff. If you are more familiar with the Jane Addams Trail than I am, and uh, you're familiar with this chunk of land here, let me know if, uh, if the public can go on this land. Uh, based on the sign there, I couldn't really determine that, but the way it looks, sort of looks like it would be accessible to the public. But at this point, I don't know, so I'm not gonna go on this property. I mentioned it in the last video, and I figured it's probably a good idea to mention it again. There is firearm deer hunting dates. Now, all of the dates on this uh, particular sign here have already gone by, but keep in mind that in the November, December, January, uh, right in that time frame, it's strongly recommended that trail users wear blaze orange or pink clothing. So uh, just keep that in mind on this trail.
All right, so we made it back to mile marker zero of the Jane Adams Trail here in Freeport, Illinois. We were going to stop at that ice cream place that we've heard good things about, although uh, we have this storm coming. Now, we knew it was going to rain today, uh, but it said that it was going to rain uh, closer to uh, like 9 o'clock after sunset. Uh, that has apparently moved up because we're really close to the rain and it's 435 now. Uh, so at this point, we're just going to pack up the bikes and hope not to get wet. But next time we come out here, we hope to definitely check that ice cream place out. And we did see a bar uh, pretty close to where we're parked over here that did have outdoor seating. So my impressions of the trail are really good. As you saw, trail quality was decent even after they've had a bunch of trees knocked down due to storms. So good to see they took care of that. They actually took care of one as we were riding by, as you saw. So let me know what you think of the trail in the comments below. If you're familiar with this trail and you know of uh, some cool places to stop, definitely let me know uh, where that is in the comments below for the next time that we check out this trail. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel grow. If you are interested in supporting this channel and helping us get to more trails, please consider a super thanks. Every cent will be used towards cynical zombie expenses like gas, parking, equipment, and lodging for trails we can't get to in one day. So that's all I got today from the Jane Adams Trail. I'll catch you on the next ride. Do you have a trail recommendation for me? Let me know in the comments below.